Hello and welcome to this live Creeksville Thursday game. We are fighting the somewhat made up battle of what's it called? The Anglo Russian invasion of Poland, 1799. We're getting right into it. I'm going to hop down to my person so I can find them. Prince. Hello. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Good. All right. Let me uh, share my screen. Okay. You are on. Oops. Oops. I'll get you back on there. Okay. There you go. So your ship, the Admiral De Ruder, is at. Mm -hmm. Uh, the front of the, let's see which group are you, you are the Batavian squadron, mm -hmm. the French are ahead of you, you can kind of see them there, I'm going to zoom to the front of the deck to see if you better than me, okay. um, so you can see the French ships over there, three of them are still battling the Russians up ahead, uh, okay, two gotcha. of them uh, are in trouble, one's on fire and adrift, and another one is listing and appears to be sinking uh, and it's both of them well one of them is pretty well dead ahead of you uh, it looks like one of the russian ships is also damaged off to the left you've got the rest of your fleet the batavians squadron kind of hard to see because they're blocking but they're in line behind you um okay. the wind is coming from this direction so right gotcha. now your beam reach which is decent you're at fighting cells so you're moving um, cell setting 2 and then um, you're at medium distance about 420 meters from the English fleet the Royal Navy which is closing distance on you uh, so you can see the Queen Charlotte and the Atlas which are both uh -huh. second rates you're a third mate they're both second rates with 100 guns and 98 guns and then the Majestic which are both third rates and Canada uh, are closing in on you. So in this little area, you've got your five ships to their four, but they have two larger ones. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then you can see some more British ships in the distance trying to catch up, but they're pretty far away. Okay. Uh, and that's basically the situation. So I'm lead ship, huh? That's uh, that's intimidating. Yeah. That's scary. All right. <coughs> Let's see. So I really all I need from you is orders for changing direction. If you have it, uh, and everything else will be written down. Gotcha. Um, and can I like run up flags to signal the same thing to the guys behind me? Or? Yeah, and you can do that too. But I need your oh. orders. First. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn just like a few degrees right, uh, like past that. The, the the stern of that rightmost I'm assuming that's French or Russian up there. Yeah, that French ship right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and just something to keep in mind: if you did turn left, you'd be coming to being close hauled, at, and then any further, like if you turned, if you turned into the British fleet, you'd be into irons because they're heading into the wind. So yeah, turning gotcha. left isn't too good an option. All right, uh, that's good. I mean, right down. Any other orders? Your cannons are full, ready to fire. Um, if you do want them loaded with anything other than round shot, uh, put that in the orders too. Uh, no, round shot's fine. Okay. Alright, well then I will be back when it's your next turn. Okay. Hey. James, you're muted, by the way. Okay. He's getting asleep. Yeah, well, perhaps this is normal. Yeah. You're supposed to be muted. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going
Testing, testing, testing. Oh, wait. I'm muted. Alright, try talking. Let me see if I can hear you. Hello. Testing. Hey, I don't hear him either. No, I think he's struggling. Um, can you hear us? That's, the, I guess, the thing in which case. Yeah. If he can hear us, we can play. He can just type his orders. If he can't hear us, that's the problem. He's in yeah. Trouble. But he wrote that no one can hear him, so hopefully he can hear us. And then, anyway, I wrote him the right orders in his channel, so I guess check there for this. Hey, so he can hear me. All right, so. If you just write what you want to do in your, your channel, and then every time I can just come and tell you what's happening in stream. If you can see the stream as well, then that works perfectly. I can just read your orders then. Yeah, let us know if you can't see the stream. We can do a screenshot, I guess. Players are super friendly. Very excited to have them. Nice. Don't... I have a first timer. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I have two three first timers. timers I think tonight or four. <laughs> That's nice. It um, feels like I've come a long way, and it's only been three months. Or has that been four no months? Way. Time flies no by. Way. Right, so the other land is. Oh, he's a. Oh wait. Is it just sell plus minus two? Oh, is he just writing stuff? I see the ocean. Alright, I'm just gonna have him follow. You know. Oh, wait, they should be going head mark or something. Yeah, that's Smart. Smart. What's Utrecht doing? Is he just going straight? Where's Utrecht? Not doing it. Let's just order follow Queen Charlotte. I don't think that's difficult. Yeah. I was ordered to follow Majestic, so I'm gonna wait for Majestic to move. Okay. Majestic 12! Yeah, my man just found the ship in front of it, so. Okay, yep, some pretty simple stuff. Well, simple stuff for simple. The first timers. Hey, Panzer, what do you think? I, I was saying firing cannons would be delayed, but could those be instantaneous? Because it seems like that, that would be pretty quick. Oh. So if we're saying they're already loaded, it does not take five minutes to shoot them. Because yeah. they they don't really aim them. They sort of aim them. But it wouldn't take five minutes. Yeah, okay. The Majestic just wants to continue going forward with no heading change. And if yeah. the right the right cannons are not currently yeah. loaded, he wants to load those. They're loaded. I'll tell oh, them that. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So that guy, um, who was it? My guy, second one. Uh, we're gonna have to do screenshots for him. Yeah. Let's give him I okay to move the majestic forward twenty grids. Go for it. Yeah. Actually, yeah, thirty. That's thirty. Okay, I'll just put it right behind with okay. no change like that. And then Washington is going. These guys mm -hmm. are shooting each other. So it'll be smoke. So these guys are in. What are they in? So next turn, describe the sound of cannons up ahead with these guys shooting at each other. All right. So you do cannons up ahead. You pull them behind them. Just got it. And then yeah, I think that's it. So, so uh, they all they're all in range, aren't they? Yeah, they're all at medium range. So these guys want to fire across. Are they firing already? Uh, the, well, if they've loaded, they so they want to fire, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, same with mine. Definitely. Okay. Oh, my guy I see how I forgot and who, uh, who is enemy to who. So uh, who who's firing? It would just be the ship that's the most obvious one to I'm fire at. The ladies also fire as well. Alright, so Charlotte missed. Atlas. Uh, Atlas is shooting at they're getting at their range. Is Majestic firing? Majestic is not firing yet. Okay. What about the... Gelderland? So the Girdland and Utrecht are both firing. 
Okay, well someone put smokes on the ones that are firing, they missed. Oh. And miss. Oh, everyone missed that. And then there goes a cannon. So. Uh, okay, so I seem to have made a, a slight tiny mistake, uh, and I forgot who was who. Uh, these are the English. Yeah. These are the the French. These are the Russians. Right here. So, so. yep, there, there's an Anglo-British fleet. All the players uh -huh. happen to be British, and then there's a Franco-Dutch fleet. All the players happen to be Dutch. Okay. So the the Russians uh. and the uh, French are NPCs. Bladen's gonna be firing as well. Did did the Reuter fire? No, I gave him smoke. Oh, they didn't oh, give orders okay. to fire. Who else is firing that doesn't have smoke? Other Laden. Other Laden. Other Laden. Uh, where the critical donors? Uh oh, three damage. All right. So who are they shooting? I guess Canada. So I'm gonna change Canada's hole to seven. A three of ten damage. Um, no critical hits, but let them know they, they just got rocked pretty hard. Which ship are you talking about? Sorry, James, I missed that. The Canada got hit pretty bad. By Canada Canada's from... fire uh, oh, right. is, okay. return, is on return fire. Canada's okay. firing back? Yep. Okay. And the... Oh, well, they did three damage back with a critical hit, so... Well. Oh. Big damage. Critical gun deck explosion. Oh man. Oh, don't do that oh, turn no. one. Don't do that turn one. <laughs> well, he could, but I guess he could be. He could, he could come back to an NPC ship, couldn't he? The Washington, the guy isn't yeah, here. He just tell him he's lost his they're ship. Not, and he's not dead. Gun deck explosion. Okay. That's minus two in all rolls and damage one. That's okay. We could do it. So it's, it's not a magazine. I was thinking it was a magazine. Hit, uh, I bet. That would have been, been funny. Canadians when war happens. Oh yeah. Like, I'm just saying. Every time Canada shows up, there's war crimes as soon as they get there. Yeah, this is so they're, they're super. We're winning, aren't we? Right. Yeah. Okay. War okay. crime the first time. And then make sure to write turn. That's now turn two. Write it in your channel. That way you can keep track of old orders versus new ones. And. Oh yep. Yeah. Okay. So <sighs> Okay. Hey. Orders. What happened to Layden? They had their deck explode? Their, yeah, gun, their deck. gun deck exploded, so they... Tell him there was an explosion on the gun deck, not the gun deck exploded. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> the gun deck exploded is everyone hey, is dead. Gun deck's gone. <laughs> he just killed an everything. enemy ship <laughs> by <laughs> sheer luck. Yeah, let me shut the door. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Uh, one, one, one last, last question and then I'll go. When they're limited to two orders, that is not inclusive of movement, correct? Correct. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right, I'm back. Yeah, hello. Get into position. Back on deck for you. Yeah. All right. So you order the ship to turn a few degrees right to avoid mm -hmm. the burning French ship ahead of you. You're now just passing it. Okay. Uh, as you look over the deck to the north, uh, the English ships are now firing upon you. The Queen Charlotte fires a volley, and uh, fortunately they all fall short and uh, hit nothing. So Wonderful. you got lucky in that. Um, the rest of the... the uh, fleet uh, is also firing, uh, including some of your own ships firing back. Nearly okay. all the shots miss, except you can see a strong hit against, that's kind of in the back there, the Canada over there gets hit hard, um, which is good for you. Uh, looking ahead, I'm going to go in front of your deck, so you're going to avoid the French burning ship, but now you're looking to run into the Republicane. Uh, if nothing else changes. You can also hear cannon fire up ahead as the French and Russians battle each other. Okay, that's the Russians up on the left there? Yeah. So you can, I changed the rules, you can order to fire on the Queen Charlotte now. Or, well, that's basically the only one you can fire at. Uh, you, can, you can order fire on her. Um, 
and then orders for turning if you want to give them when everything else is written. Okay, uh, I will fire at the Queen Charlotte then. Okay, and going straight or? Uh, let's see how. I'll uh, redirect left of that uh, wreck ship in front of me. Okay, got it. Like just left of it. Alright, thread the needle, got it. Thank you. Give me a second. Okay. I'll come back to you. Oh, James, actually, you're here. Can you fire and reload the cannons in the same turn? Uh, nope. Once nope. you I fire, so. you can yeah. give orders to reload, but it'll the, they will be reloaded the following turn, and then you can fire the turn after that. So basically, every okay. every t if you order, so they're, right, so they're reloaded turn. this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what you did last turn was you fired them in order to be reloaded, so they would have been reloaded. Uh, it'd be, they'd be reloaded this turn, so you'd be fired next turn. Okay. So then... So you're firing every other turn then, basically. Yeah. Maybe then I will... I guess, uh, I presume the other ships with me are moving at the same speed, currently? Yep, they're all moving in the same direction, and roughly the same speed. Okay. Um, so I will spend one of my actions to adjust my sail up to yep. extra sail. Actually, it's full sail. Okay. Um, gotcha. Write that down. Um, while also... Um, but are just saying write it down in channel, so we... Yep. I am. Um, and then I'm going to, with that, I'm going to turn 45 degrees to starboard. Yep. And then as my second turn, uh, or second action, I am not really sure. I guess nothing. I don't think I'm in range to fire small arms or anything like that. Okay. Grand, thank you. So just sails and turn. Yeah, gotcha. Macked. Next turn. <laughs> the warrior? Yeah. Not this turn, because oh, nobody's loaded. So most people are reloading this turn. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. Majestic is actually going to open fire on the lead. lead. Okay, Majestic. Uh, Elderland. Canada is to open fire I mean, on the closest different. enemy. Canada fired last yep. turn, so they could only be reloading this turn if they ordered to be reloading. Yep, they ordered to reload then. Okay. So, I don't, who has the Gelderland? Oh, it's our piece coming. 
Um, Deruder here fired on Charlotte and scored one damage. Just let them know that. I don't know why, but if I look at the smoke at a wrong angle, it doesn't show up. Yeah, I know, I've noticed that too. No, for me, it sinks underneath the water and then pops back up. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I think I have a smoke that shows up. Actually, no, it doesn't. But it, you can see the box with it, which I don't like. Let's see. No, not that one. Are the French not moving up? Oh, we're waiting there. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, so I have a ground fog here. Oh, but that doesn't show at certain angles either. I don't know. As, who has Gelderland? Maybe they're not R back yet. RPs. That's the guy that is having connection issues, so it's oh. a little bit slow. Okay. Sure. I don't want to move him just in case he's doing something weird. Working. So most of the Royal Fleet um, they all fired last turn, right? Oh, except for Majestic is firing at who? The lead the lead French ship. Wherever it may be. Well they're not at that angle they're not gonna they can't do that. Okay. Um I think they could do Gelderland. You want to go ask him real fast if he's okay uh, sure. with that? <clears throat> they moved 20, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Unless they ordered a sail change. No, they didn't. No. Uh, I, oh, I almost thought people were giving reports about these jobs. Like, well, what? So, let's see. Seventeen. Oh, three damage. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, the, the Majestic does want to fire just on whatever it can. Okay. Well, it did three damage to the other one, so... Okay. Direct hit on the hole. Alright, I think... Are you here, Art? There's the moon. This is tricky. Oh no. That's not good to hear. Uh, it's just that there's this guy, I've forgotten his name now, who's playing Girdland. Can't see the screenshot, so I'm having to do a screen. Yeah. He can't see the um, streaming, and he's lost his voice as well, so he's typing in. I'm giving him screenshots, and he's typing in chat. So, it's slowing down the process somewhat, unfortunately. Uh, um. <laughs> Poor guy had the same thing happen in the tank battle. Yeah. He's just I think he plays on his phone and then he has this terrible signal, so Yeah. Um, why don't we would it be helpful if you only just had him? Probably. Uh who has Layden? Oh, I have Layden. Okay, can you do Utrecht as well? Uh, sure. And then and then we just have the one day. Okay, so we're on turn three now. Who is the Ultra? Who is Ultra again? Like, who is Ultra? It's, this, it's the one in front of Layden. Oh, I'm just like, who's the player? The person? Uh, it's, uh, it's West Hoisen. West Hoisen. Yeah, West Hoisen. Alright. Alright, turn three, go do it. So, Gellerman took heavy three fire, three damage, and. Queen Charlotte took one, Charlotte. and I think that was it, right? Yeah. Say that again, sorry, uh, James. The Gelderland took three damage to, to well, the whole okay. hit, so it's three out of ten, so yep. that, that was devastating, coming from the Atlas. <coughs> and the front two ships are now in 200 meter range, so they're, they're drawn now to short range. Okay. The other ones, I think, are still too far. Yeah, slightly too far, but... Uh, okay. okay. Next turn. Yeah, do I have? Alright, 
right, Captain Prince. Well. Yeah, I wasn't clear on what goes on in text and what's in BC, so you're just doing movement and firing, and then everything else is text? Or? Correct, yeah, cause, because okay. there's a one turn delay, it helps if gotcha. you write it, write it down, okay. and then I know. Uh, I can look at the previous turn and see. Alright, can you see your, right. the screen? Mm -hmm. So your helmsman uh, turns the wheel and angles left, and now you are skirting by the French ship, the Republicaine. Uh, the rest of the fleet's mostly following you. Um, yeah, they're, I mean, they're behind you. They haven't quite turned yet, but that's to be expected. Um, you do manage to get a volley off on to the Queen Charlotte, um, which does strike the hole in some places. I did a little bit of damage. Um, okay. Nothing major that you can tell. The uh, Atlas fires a volley at Gelderland behind you and does a lot more damage with their hit. Um, and then most everyone else, all the other ships are quiet as they are likely reloading. Uh, as you look ahead, you can see the French and Russians continuing to battle, uh, but it's mostly smooth sailing for you, nothing blocking away now. Um, you have closed to short distance with Queen Charlotte, so you're a little bit less than 200 meters away. Um, Alright. Um, if I've got enough turn distance, I'm going to turn to that same angle as the ships behind me. Okay, so you're going to back right a little bit once you get past the ship. Say again? You're going to turn right after you pass the ship? Yeah. Okay. Got it. And then your crew is reloading the cannons on the left side. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Anything else? And, uh, I still have an action, right? I can uh, drop to full sail? Yes. Okay, cool. So make sure to write that down. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Whoops. So you're going okay. from fighting sail to full sail, so twice as fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Ah, I love Age of Seals. I love boats. Uh -oh. James, I'm going to tell you I love boats. Yeah, I don't think you told me. You and the Alright, uh, what's the current range of things? Oh, the... Eh. Here we go, anyway. So Canada wants to fire on Leiden. Oh, I think the movement goes first, right. Movement first, then firing. Charlotte's doing funky stuff. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. What's she doing? She's, doing? She's gonna move 10. Okay. Or turn 45 degrees to starboard and then move 20. Um. So, like. <laughs> I'm not gonna ram. I'm, I'm not gonna ram and I'm not gonna have them cross the T. That's. that's yeah, Atlas no wants way. to do something similar in that they want to change their heading to try to get in front of the French ships. Atlas? Yeah, Atlas the. Does? No. Yes. They... But I just I just came from Atlas. He's my guy. Not Atlas. Sorry, majestic. <laughs> my bad. Majestic. <laughs> You're fine. 
Oh no. So what cell oh, are we doing? Crazy shit. Alright, so what we're. We are going faster, so we'll do this. <laughs> so, 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 James, hear me out. Yeah. A first rate doing that would be like Tokyo drifting <laughs> a, a, a Ferdinand from World War II. <laughs> Euro beats. Like, if we do that, everyone on the Admiral Reuter just died to like a. I I vote we don't let him rake Admiral de Reuter like that. <laughs> just just all you, die. What, where do they end up though? Like here? Sure, so, like that, that. That's fair. That's great. Let's okay. cut it back, and he he can shoot Gelderland because he's firing out the starboard side anyway. But like, I don't know. It's your show. I'll defer to you. I just feel like that's uh, too a little silly for a hundred gun ship. Sure. Okay. Well, you could say. I mean, if you say so, forty-five degrees. So they're here, right? They go that way. They, they were. They were right in front of Atlas. So yeah, that, that, yeah. That looks good. Yeah. So they went, he went that, and then they're doing this kind of thing, coming up on the rear. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And oh, the Atlas God. is doing what as well? Uh, yeah, so his his orders were to follow. Oh, just follow. Problem like oh, is the majestic. They don't want to follow. They want to try to do the same thing the Charlotte just did, essentially. Well, that's fine. Just have them. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. They wanted to put themselves sort of in front front of the okay. French fleet. So they're here now. Oh, that's, that's kind of weird for Canada because Canada's following majestic. So. That's fine. Oh. Kind of majestic. And they wanted to fire on Leiden. Oh wait, so, so hold on. So wait, this one's going. Good. Okay, it's not going out the other way. Okay. Wait, so where's Sarker yet? Well, let's move them all, then we'll be firing, I guess. <clears throat> Old Trick wanted to follow the bigger one, so okay. I don't know where, wherever it's going. We probably should have done firing before we moved, but because it's a little bit. The thing the Majestic is doing is just reloading its right guns. Uh, can't pick up the smoke, bro. And then I can't pick it up. I can't pick up the smoke. Gotcha. Uh, it is very variable. I'll give you that. It's the yeah, and, and also some of the smoke's falling through the table as well, which is a bit weird. Yeah. Unless it's flit. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna do the smoke, bro. So I need, I need a dice. Right. Is it red? It's red dice, isn't it, for combat? It's, yeah, we should have done. Well, twenty. Whoa. What's the twenty do? We should have done the cannons before we moved. I think yeah, I agree. Um, so let's. Uh, if you can remember back, who's firing on what? Uh, so Canada is firing on Leiden. Right, we do that real fast. So the good lands. Leiden's also firing hot shot back at the Canada. And that's mess. And then Leiden's firing hot shot. So someone roll a d6 for me. Oh, three damage gotcha. critical hit. Well, I've just yeah the um I've rolled for it's my guy here. It's a twenty five percent chance, James. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll a d eight on a one or a two. He uh, suffers a fire. So it's not. Mast, oh, cell damage one. No, nope. that was Canada. So Canada takes three damage, and a mast. The mast is. Heavily damaged, so their their speed minus one. They're slowed down. Heated shot. So what's you what's the critical roll? dice? Is the critical dice is the so black the, one? The red one. Sorry, the black one. Oh, the black one. Okay. So okay so who else was shooting at who? Uh, so I, uh, I have not rolled them. Queen Charlotte would so, have fired at Admiral de Reuter if they did it at the beginning. Yeah, damage. Okay. And, and that was and close, that. so it's plus two. So what happens with crew damage? What do they go from steady down to yes. to disordered? So okay. Crew goes to disordered, yep. And then yep. Atlas would fire at Galderland either before yep. or after shooting, it didn't change. Yeah, so that would be oh ouch, two damage. Ugh. Okay. On the yeah, well the Atlas took three as well and a crew hit. So this is for the Girdland, is it? They walked to six damage. Yeah, I yeah, just. This, I, this I got is going to be quick. <laughs> Alright. It do be like that sometimes. It really do. 
Should Layden be further up than that? Uh, the Layden's moving two, the Ultra's moving four. Has a scale four. Oh, they just switched to four? Yeah, they, they started it last turn. They, They're they, about to like, run into everyone. Okay. And Washington's coming up. Uh, yeah, that was done. The Layden's also, the Layden, or just right at the Layden. The Ultra is firing on the Majestic. Also this turn. Oh, okay. I'll go look at that. So, just to confirm one, the Girdlin took another three damage, yeah? yeah. Just yeah, to confirm. From, At from Atlas. Yeah. So they've gone to six then. Wow. Well. So they're, they're in rough shape. Uh, then Canada's in rough shape. Yeah, these seven. smokes are really annoying. You can just delete them, I don't. For show, for that, I wonder why they're falling through the table. It's, I think it's the water. Oh. Mine don't actually fall through the table. It's just if you zoom out or change the angle far enough, they disappear. And if I oh, it could be that actually. the camera angle, yeah, they pop back up. Right, or, the, or they could be moving for you. Let the know. Utrecht know that with four cell, unless they get really lucky, they're about to run into something because they're, they're out of the yeah, order. I was kind of shocked when I saw it on the orders. I was like, what? <clears throat> Good old Rami. No, the laden, the laden's slowing down to sail one. So I mean, yeah. there's gonna be like a huge gap in their line. Yeah. The um, atlas is down down to disordered crew. Just for, for whoever is looking after the atlas. Thank you. I will have yeah. more smeared bosun on the deck. Yeah. yeah there you go. All right. Next turn. Wow. Oh. Turning crazy. Don't, don't forget to write turn three in their channel. Yep. It's, it's turn four now. Oh, turn, turn four. four. Did I forget to write turn three? I did. Turn four. Cannons are loaded on your. I'm gonna get shot. Uh, the <laughs> the Queen Charlotte. <laughs> Fuck me. Turn okay. hard right and uh, with their favorable winds is bearing down right on you. Um, your crew is dropping sails to full sail now, uh, so you will just barely pull ahead of them and avoid getting ran. Um, okay. But they're they're awfully close. Uh, you could actually order. They're not really in range of your cans, but you could order, order a small arms fire on them. Up to you. The Atlas uh, is firing on Gelderling. Gelderling behind you is taking a lot of hits. Gelderland, sorry. Um, there's a lot of holes in their side. Um, but you can see the Atlas taking a lot of fire, and it's getting smoky, so it's kind of hard to see behind you, but the cannon is taking a lot of hits, and you can't really see much of what else is going on behind you. The ships okay. are moving around to avoid the Republican. And, uh, yeah. Up ahead, right. you can see, again, the French and the Russians still battling. They're still going up there. Okay. Uh, well. Let's see. And then you're at a good angle now, I think, so you'll be at self for. You gave those orders last turn, right? So it'll be happening this turn. Um, yeah, and then you may even go five speed because the winds. Okay, uh, I will. I'm, I'm just gonna do small arms fire at the what is that? The Queen Charlotte right behind me. Okay. Make sure to put that in the orders. Right oh, there. okay, that's orders. Gotcha. Well, then uh, I'm just gonna keep going where I'm going then. Okay. Got it.
I was just trying to express that you have an, an extra order slot there. You don't have All to right. spend it on the maneuver stuff. I'm going to... You can just write it. I, I got your movement. Uh, just just write it. It'll be fine. James, I'm going to voice two. Did you need me? I was just going to remind you, let's not move the ships that have done the firing first this time. Okay. <clears throat> Um, we're going to have to take the wind disadvantage. We're going to go ahead and turn slightly to the left. So if I were to give you a degree, do you want me to give you like a, a compass degree? Sure, let me find your current heading uh, degrees-wise. You're right now... I think around 130 to 140 degrees heading, if not mistaken. Yeah, let me pull up my compass. You're sailing down wind, actually almost running. So, yeah, that's yeah. Heading 130. I went ahead uh, roughly 110, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say 105 degrees, and uh, I need to wait until, I can't fire unless I've got them in sight, I'm pretty sure, right? right? Or can I preemptively give an order to fire on the uh, rightmost French ship once it comes in range as we're turning? I think that that should be allowed. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, that'll be what I do. 105 degrees, and then uh, that rightmost French ship, we'll go ahead and engage them once we uh, get them in our bearings. Okay. Sorry if my command... This is my first Kriegspiel, so sorry if my commands are weird. That's okay, this is my first umpire machine. <laughs> so it's like a match made in heaven. We're not going to move anything until we do combat first. We'll try to do okay. Instance. What's the range for small arms fire? Small arms... Um, Is that short range? Yeah, I was going to be point blank. So probably point blank. Um, I'm just trying to think. Small arms fire... Oh, uh, 250 yards. Okay. They're, they're actually what, that range. what do I roll? What dice? It's um. Oh shoot! <laughs> uh, I know. I figured I did that somewhere. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I think it's an automatic. Right? All right. So, how fast? Wait. So. So he's going speed for this bell trek. Each crew push cool. How fast is the old trek? Holy shit! Yeah, they're going still four. So they're they're gonna try. They want to try and gear right as hard as they can, to not like ram into the English ships. But I don't know. Nice Republican. Right, let's um, just make it fifty fifty. Or um, okay. And then if it succeeds, it'll do another crew damage to it. Fantastic. Okay. I wrote that down, but... okay. So who's who can fire on whom? Charlotte and Jess are, are both not firing. So are we firing first and then moving? Or are we yeah, carrying on as we were? Yeah, we'll move. It's easier that way. Oh, uh, okay, right. Well, in that up. case, the Gerland is. They'll be doing a. Oh, they'll be doing a double shot then. Right, double shot. On. The. So they'll be doing. Let me just check in his channel again. So we double shot on, yeah, whatever. It's probably the Atlas, okay. I would suggest, because that's probably the angles. So that's and Atlas is the bad man that hurt him. Yeah. yeah, it is the bad man that hurt him. And then the firing on. I'll do the musket one. So the Queen Charlotte has suffered a um, Ooh, hit from mm -hmm. musketry, so they're down to disordered. And double shot does. Double shot does two extra damage. Oh, minus two to hit, but two extra damage to hit. Uh, yeah, okay. So, five damage. Oof. Oof. Wow. Well, they're they're up to eight, then. They're a second, right? Yeah, I've done... I've put the damage on now already. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's... This is a bit crazy now. This is a funky turn. Yeah, I think Gelderland's dead next turn. Oh, it, it could totally not, but it's gonna get hit with a first rate and a second rate. Is anyone else I, shooting? Uh... He, 
The Majestic wanted to course correct and then sort of change its angle, then fire on the French ships. Alright, so let's do movement and then we'll see who Majestic shoots. So Did anybody... Oh, oh yeah, okay. So this guy's going speed 40 now. Hmm. Oh, so we're moving now, yeah? Yeah, yeah sorry. Move, move them, whatever um, their orders were. Uh, my guy is following the Atlas now. So uh, I gotta. Uh, I'm not sure if I gotta wait for him just to get out of the way. Like I kind of do now. So uh, who's following the Atlas? Ken? Well, this guy's the thing. Oh, he's gonna come through. That's okay. Probably. Oh yeah, he'll make it. He'll make it. These guys are big and slow. I don't think he wants to make it true. <laughs> what's his What's his speed? Does he sell too? Um, Isn't he about to go downwind? He's gonna go ten and then change forty five degrees, right? So he's, he's going. Or ten. He's probably going at plain sail. He hasn't increased his sail, I don't think. I'm just going to check his channel see if he ever increased his sail. I don't think he did. So these guys... He's going at plain sail. They are running he's now. Oh, wait, they're almost... Uh, they're probably... Yeah, so I've just been moving them too, because they're at speed too, and not giving them the bonus yeah, for yeah, their yeah. attitude. So these guys, he's definitely going to move off. So he's going to be like, oh, yeah. So he's going to be, unfortunately... Okay, um, wow, but would, would he turn? Let me just check what he's going to do. Hold on. So Utrecht slowed down. Right? Um, the, sorry, wait, no, yeah, I haven't moved the old, the old trick yet. I don't know how, like, if I, how to do the ramming stuff or if it rams. Or so right he's now. moving four, right? Yep, he's moving four, and he's he said he wants to try and veer right to avoid the ships based on like what he saw yeah. at, at the time. We're he didn't know where, he, he didn't really see if the we're ships were gonna go. Right. Take it, McPanzer. What? <laughs> oh, I thought you said oh no. Yeah, I'm saying, oh no, because uh, so like Atlas is sixty-seven. He's like two-thirds to seventy-five percent bigger than Utrecht, yeah. and if he runs into it like that, he's gonna have a horrible day. That's plus, right. Atlas is firing. I would be tempted to like be merciful, because even Mercy, where he doesn't ram the thing, just parks him uh, to get raked from the bow by a ninety-eight gun yeah, second he, rate. He throws uh, four sails. He's ramming it. No. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And then what's Layden uh, doing? Layden's... Layden has moved. They, they slowed down to sail one. Right. And they just Make slowed. sure to write it on the thing. So where it says sail... Oh, did I not write? Oh, I forgot. You have to change it. So okay. sail one, and I guess Washington's sail one. How much sails can you put on? Oh, Ooh, hey, hey, arc. hey! <laughs> what's wrong with you? He's angry. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh my god! Give me back my toys, Ark. What is he doing? He's, he's sabotaging. <laughs> it's a ram. It's a Arp. ram maneuver. Arp's cat got a. The majestic over. open fire on the laden then. Uh, so majestic can fire on laden, yeah. So okay. we'll do that. That's bang, bang. short range, so plus two. Dos. He misses, so he fires a little bit too early, and it goes this way and misses. Oh. <laughs> Big miss. Alright, hopefully Ark won't wreck the ships anymore. Alright, I think we're ready. Wait, why is Gelderland changing? Whatever. I, do you want me to roll my own combat dice? You have been, and that's fine. I just didn't want to both oh, do it. Who's, so who's firing? I thought we got uh, them all. Atlas uh, is going to fire at point blank raking on the Utrecht. Oh, yeah, go for it. All right, so we on another turn now because I haven't given these screenshots of my guy. No, we we haven't. Did Gelderon turn like that to the right? Uh, uh yes, he did. He wanted to turn to the starboard. He wants to fire, which is on the last turn. Then, then because I hadn't actually he hadn't actually said what his movement was, and he wants to fire and then turn starboard. So I'm guessing he would have passed through those ships. Yeah, he got a miss. So <coughs> he's gonna. This guy's gonna get. Uh, Plus two for point blank. Plus four, I think. Oh, he's gonna get plus four for point blank. He's gonna get plus two because he's a second rate. Uh, and then what is raking from the bow? Uh, do I have rules for raking? Because I should. Rake. Uh, well, oh, so Wait. plus two advantage. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not so as good from even, stern, but... Even if it's only a plus... So, so raking could be from bow or stern, but it's, it's right. much better from the, from the stern. Yeah, from the stern, so, yeah. If we only give it a plus two, that that's still a plus eight. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Sure. Roll it. He takes. Did you roll it? The track took took three damage. Wait, was it critical? Uh. Is it, 
I've oh, lost yes. track of where we are. Yes, yes, it was. So, are we on turn we lost five now? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. No steering behind an enemy ship. You're you're a turn ahead of me at the moment. Are we? I don't. I yeah. don't. No, we are not. I think we got... well, well, we fired. I thought we fired on the beginning of turn four, and then we moved. Yeah. And it seems like you're firing again. So that's why I'm confused. Well, some ships no, no. fired and some didn't, and we're yeah. Course correcting. We're we're all of the above, but we're done. Okay. That one the turn four, I think that was. Is that is it confusing because there was that tsunami it came in and knocked all the ships over? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Nothing to do with me. It was purely to do with the wind and the sea. <laughs> Very roughly. Alright, so we're now turn five. So, the only thing I have left to resolve is did it actually ram Atlas and Utrecht? Yeah, they're like stuck on each other. Okay, right. so I'm just going to have them like in their rigging tangled up. Yeah. I, f I feel like if we roll damage. Uh, Utrecht has a terrible life, and I don't want to do that. No, you have to. Don't be too soft. Okay. You're too nice, Painter. Uh, okay. Do we have rules for ramming? Oh, yeah, we do. Well, okay. we're boarding. I don't know about ramming. Right, that's about it. It would be painful for both sides, really, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, both sides are. Listen, yeah. Drift now. Well, I don't know. I guess. Well, well, we could roll to see if the Atlas pulls free. I think what's been done is fine for now, and then next turn we'll roll to see if they can yank free of each other. I'm I'm fine with this. I I, I was just hesitant to apply damage from ramming oh, because no. I, yeah. I feel like. It... Well, yeah. I mean, we could say that this crash into each other it doesn't because then they're tangled and you get a bit of a mathematic. I think you're, you're probably right about that. Yeah. Alright. Howdy. Hello. Alright. Oh, some ships have learned how to fly. When you get to the edge of the table in TTS, funky things happen at the end of the world. <laughs> So we got some flying Russian. Oh, holy crap! What's going on? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, they all flying. Uh, ignore those. That doesn't matter. Uh, so you go to full sail and pull ahead of the nasty fight behind you. Um, luckily, you're not being targeted, but you can see that the queen. Oh, there's the Gelderland. So the Gelderland manages to like pull right through Atlas and Queen Charlotte. Okay. Uh, well. they're, they're turning right and kind of cutting off you from the rest of the fleet. Uh, and then there's a lot of fighting going on over there that you can't hardly see what's going on. Um, but you and Gelderlin are on this side of them. Uh, Gelderlin ta has taken a lot of hits. You have not really. Um, you can see... Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's just hard to describe. There's a lot going on there. Lots of ships shoot at each other. Yeah. Uh, but you're flying now at full sail, heading this way. You got the wind at your back. Uh, and you're actually catching up to this fight in front of you. So, what are your orders? All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn as far right as I can. Yeah. So what is that? Like 45 degrees, yeah. right? Okay. Oh, and um, so your man got on deck to fire the small arms at Charlotte, but now it's a bit too far away to hit yep. it. Um, so they're kind of standing there beside you, ready to shoot, but not able to hit it if they tried at the moment. All right, so turning right, forty-five degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, same cell, or I guess we'll put that if you want to change it. Yeah. Okay. Got it.
All right. We found ourselves in interesting times after this rhyming. So... I need to move the battle back. Let's see. So let's see. Uh, Canada... Okay. Well, I guess I can start moving my guy already, but no. he wants to fire heat into the hoot track. Don't, don't move him yet. We gotta see what everything is. Ah, no. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Canada wait can't even shoot it. at anyone because our Majestic's in front of him. Oh. Can you sh I guess he can't shoot whilst moving. Well, I mean, like, if he sped up and Majestic didn't, maybe he could, but as it's right now, like, they're right in front of him. He's, they're not going to shoot anything. Mm hmm Okay. Inter interesting times. So just round shots. So die 20 in it for, him, for rolling to hit. And he missed by a massive amount. Okay. Shooting in the I'm big dumb. So the Girdlands fired on the Queen Charlotte but whiffed it completely. Okay. Well, Queen Charlotte is going to fire on the Gelbrill. Mm. Uh -huh. That's two, so that turns uh, to 11. 11. Oh, so what? yeah. And What's the range? Oh, and then the range is, yeah, sure. 13. I think plus 14. One. So they get plus, how much do they get for the range then? Sorry, I forgot plus all about two. that. Plus yep. 2. Plus 2. Oh, right, they rolled a 2, so they're going to miss regardless. So the other one takes one more damage. One more, okay. Oh, did you add that on already, Grant? Uh, Who else is firing? So, Queen yeah, Charlotte wanted to movement. fire small arms at Utrecht. Okay, so we're... I forgot the rules for that, so what we're doing is 50-50, so... Four I didn't do it, yeah. Six is crew damage. Oh, didn't happen. And Nicholas wasn't sure if he wanted to board. I told him he had 180 seconds. Let's go check. Yeah, so what? he's not boarding. Why would you he's not? Just... Okay. So he doesn't. He doesn't want to board. He wants. He does also doesn't want to try to escape. So he's like repelling borders and firing small arms, but he's not going over there. I don't know. Okay, is majestic. How, how cowardly. Um. Okay. Is a majestic uh, reloading? It might be. I don't know. The majestic is reloading with a heated shot for its okay. starboard cannons. So, alright, now we can move. So I guess move your ships. Majestic also wants to decrease a sail up to um. minimum sail from fighting. Okay, so they're going to... And they, that order was given last turn? I think that's for this turn, so it's not being decreased yet. Okay. Okay. What is with the physics of this map? It's well, weird. you get to the edge of the place area and it goes funky, so... We've right, angered okay. Poseidon. Yeah. <laughs> well, he'd lifted one ship straight out of the sea and just was hanging there. Yeah. Yeah. They've right. done something bad to him. I told him bad things happen at the edge of the world. So don't, don't. Probably use his trident as a toasting fork or something and he's pissed right. him off. Right, so he's going... As soon as they get away from these ships, I'm going to skip them back to the middle so we're not running into the edge. They'll okay. never know. That's all right. Uh, so is this is this Admiral De Reuter? Is that a player? Yeah, he just happened to sail. Oh, okay. He's sailing away from the fight. He's just sailing away from the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm out I'm of here. Yeah, exactly. Well, he did a, he did way too dangerous. He's like, zoop, out of there. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, for, for repairing stuff, is that like you roll dice for that? 
um, for repairing. So you can yeah, repair steering, flooding, and sail damage. It's a 25% yeah. chance of success. The so Ultric has decided that its top priority is uh, getting its steering back right now, so they're going to repair the steering. Okay. So that was... And uh, uh, that will happen, uh, right? happen the following turn, right? Each should be boarded. That will happen the following turn? That's what you said? That's the following turn Yeah, he did just get the order. Yeah. Yep, oh, while you're here, Atlas fired small arms at Utrecht and did one point crew damage. They went okay. Uh, did you already indicated on the, on the ship? Yeah, yeah, I, I already did. Queen Charlotte also fired small arms and it didn't do anything. Uh, Canada wants to repair the mast. No, <laughs> not in fire. That's not happening. <laughs> Let's put up a new mast. Sure. Right, go, so go Egypt, why not? I didn't see in two weeks. Can so you we repair it? Also, so is the Gelderlands going south or at least? Sorry. Two? Like nobody's moved besides this one. So who's moving what way? I know the Atlas. Right. So, oh well, yeah, I'm just waiting for you to finish your combat. So then, uh, yeah, they're moving now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I'm going to try to get a to move to try to get a yep. shot on the trip, but I'm not sure if it's possible. And then these guys will drift a little with the wind. Yeah. And true. then what are these guys doing? Okay. Uh, so Canada is doing this. So ten. Okay. And then they wanted to get a shot off on Utrecht and try to get like on the on the on this side of Atlas. Alright. So they like fire a shot and hope they don't hit the Atlas. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just roll that and maybe give a minus two because it's a little bit harder, I guess. Um, that's miss. They missed. And then what's Majestic yeah. doing? So the Majestic, I think he was relying on the sails going down. Should I clarify to him that sails aren't coming down enough that he wouldn't hit things? Um, well, he didn't want to turn. Didn't really specify turn. I think he was really relying on okay. the we'll sails. Okay, we'll him about to run into it and then what you can turn left. But... Okay. Uh, I do have a question about yeah. repair. Uh, is there anything specific you can repair? Can you repair the hull a bit, or so you Jesus, can repair just... steering, flooding, and sail damage? Is what you can repair. Okay. And fire. You can put out fires as well if you're on fire. There are no fires on the cannon, so it's fine. Okay. And then Washington. Oh God! What is going on? Oh. So we found ourselves in an encirclement by accident. Alright. Next turn, don't feed right now, turn... Okay. Do we, we do, like, the ultra stuff? I mean, I mean they're just like, we simulate that, whatever's going on here. We're on... Okay, we're on turn six, aren't we? Yes. Turn six. This is fun. I'm enjoying this, these rules. Yep. Captain Prins. Are you enjoying the first person point of view? Yeah, it's pretty neat actually. This is the first time we're doing it, but I kind of like it. Alright. So, you have turned uh, essentially, you've turned 45 degrees ish uh, south. Um, so, the, the battle rage is on behind you. You're a good distance <laughs> away now. Okay. So, the Gelderland and the Queen Charlotte are both battling each other. Um, it's hard to tell who's winning that fight, but probably the Queen Charlotte. The Atlas, um, you watch with your... Actually, we're going to look through the telescope. <laughs> Here we go. So the Atlas uh, has run... Or no, the... Oh, shit, is that? I can't see. The Utrecht has run into the Atlas, and they are stuck in each other's rigging at the moment. Um, you can see Canada coming behind the Atlas, and then your own ships. That's kind of hard to see because Atlas is covering the rest. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, enemy ship, enemy ship, enemy ship. So you got Gelderland on your side. You're still pretty far away. Alright, uh, I'm just going to do another 45 right. Okay. And then do you, you could, I think it's going to be long range, but you could probably fire at the Atlas or the Atlas? in Canada. Uh, okay. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give shooting the Atlas a shot, why not? Are your sails changing at all? You're still at four sails going fast. Yeah. Uh, I will... 
I'll drop to what is it? Combat sales? Two uh, yeah. two down. Yeah, Fighting sure. sales, right? Make sure to write it down. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I have the Ultrecht and the Laden. So, Laden's gonna come around and try to shoot the Majestic in the rear. Yeah, we're gonna get some breaking fire. Uh, and the Ultrecht is gonna have small arms with the Atlas. And also, they have to do that repair that they started doing last turn. The, uh... Laden... Oh, you don't have Laden. Yeah. Oh, you do have I have the Laden. I do have the Laden. So let him know he's sailing... He's close hauled. Um, he's, sorry, he's what? He's close hauled in the green area, so mm -hmm. he's speed minus one, and he really can't turn left anymore. Okay. If he he can turn, when you're close hauled, you can turn 67 degrees instead of 45. Mm -hmm. Okay. If he turns right, so. Okay, good to know. Alright, I'll let him know. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, those are uh, Alright. So the the yeah. bad sales. We go to sail three. We got some boarding. Boarding yeah, action. All that, all that transports in this game that I didn't realize we, that I knew about. No. Question: Is it possible to go to sail three? There's no transports. Okay. It is possible to go to sail three. All right. So sails. Uh, what do I write? Do do I keep the nun? Well, let's let's hold on. Let's. Do uh, combat first. Are we all here? They're all here. Yeah. All right. So uh, I've still got to get some mortars. Hold on. Okay. Can we do any combat? Well, I don't need to move. You can. I can. You can carry on. Uh, okay. So who? You have to track. Oh, sorry, who, right. So, Layden is shooting at Majestic, raking fire at. Is that point blank? I think that is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, totally. It's gonna be hard. Okay, so that's plus two raking, plus four point blank. Give him, give him plus four raking because it's stern. We did plus two for bow. Uh, okay, so it's already seven. Yes, yeah, so three damage and critical. So like, and uh, gun deck explosion. So he's taking. He's got four damage now, and then gun deck damage. So all his shots are minus two. Whoever had the gun deck before, we need to remember that his shots are minus two. And then, oh, that's extra damage. So that James, I have a quick question. Um, where are there transports that I didn't realize? Had, where, if there are, where are they? No. Oh, they're yeah, they were in the um, description, sure. but they're not shown they're, here. They're not portrayed here. Oh, uh, okay. They're, they're very far away. Far away, being protected. Alright, so Majestic took devastating raking fire and right through the Vendek. Uh, who else? Uh, Ultra Small Arms, the, the Atlas. Okay, we'll do. So it's the same from the Atlas, but the Atlas is boarding. Right? Oh. I told him he has three decks and the Utrecht has two, and he was like, oh, I'm taller than him, I should board him. So he did. Alright, so let's, let's do that. Well, the boarding action is going to take a while, but we're going to do a D6 versus a D4, and yeah, okay. So the Atlas is boarding the Utrecht, they're battling each other, but the Utrecht is slowly losing. 
So, so I guess my question is, with that six and that two, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Yeah, what do I tell the captain of the trick? Tell him that the crew of the Atlas are on his deck, and they're battling with muskets and swords, and his crew is dying. We'll roll one more time right. next turn to see if they can turn the tide, but he's about to be... Yeah, he might want to something. Okay. Alright. And then Gatherland and Charlotte already fired, so I assume they're reloading. And then Washington could actually shoot at Majestic as well. Right? Yeah, that makes Cause, sense. Because he's going to move and then come behind. Okay. So we roll for that, which is not going to be nice for Majestic. But... Oh, wait, wait, no, because he's... What's Majestic doing? He's turning... Majestic wants to go turn to 95... Sorry, 85 degrees, roughly 85. Okay, so he's... All right, let's, let's move and then see if any other shots can happen. So I think their sail now is at down level. 15. Yeah, there's sail one. They are downwind, I think. And they're moving. Did, uh, did Gelderland do anything funky, Ark? He's arc. typing at the moment. I'm still waiting for him He's, um, to give me his orders yeah. for this turn. What's Canada doing? He can't fire though, so it's a. Uh, it doesn't have to reloading firing. round shot, and he's trying to move the parallel to the Atlas and uh, in Charlotte. So he's going to turn. Turn, that turn yeah. Okay, and then he's going left. Was he going to turn right again? I guess he'd only turn left, so he's on his speed one. So he's just going to barely pull by. And then these guys. Where, where are Layden and. Where's Layden going? Hello, who's got Layden? If you're running with the wind, is there any bonus? Is it just normal movement? If it's running, then it's minus one. If you're in the yellow broad reach area, it's plus one. Okay. <coughs> Where's Layden going? Uh, Layden is just. Coming around, it, it's fine. It's uh, just going straight, trying to like you know get around. Um, yeah, and he's still too, so he's going to start pulling ahead. And then Washington's going to fire on Majestic. It's not raking, yep. so. Oh, dang it! Big roll, big roll. Uh, crew damage. So the Majestic's crew goes to disordered. And they take three more damage. So they're in trouble. Oh. Uh and let's not forget Canada want to up the sails. So Yeah, and I guess since I'm gonna just record it and so Utrecht's crew goes from disordered to rattled because of the uh, loss the boarding so. So if they fail the next one, they'll go to fleeing and just surrender, basically. That's something. Cool. I like that. Okay. I think we're ready. Yep. Uh, just a question, James. Uh, Canada went to up the sails, so I don't know if you did that. You didn't do that. Um, was that given to a uh, turn ago? Sorry, what? Was that order given a turn ago? Last no, uh, it was given this turn. Okay, so remember next turn to increase that sale number. What is going uh, uh, Do I write something instead of none, or do I have... So none is the damage, the two is the cell value. So are they going to three or four? Uh, they're going to three, by the way. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to write three for them, so remember next turn they're faster. Than... Okay, next turn. Turn. You're a twin so. uh, we might need to move these ships in the middle because I cannot get a screenshot from where I am on from my shop, right, uh, so ship anymore. Me, I'm going to delete these. To bring it behind now. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Right, let me see if I can. Oh, rear cannons is there? They are rear cannons. That's a real I thing, do. right? Um, yeah, but they're, they're but yes, so they few are. of them. There's so few of them that it's almost not worth rolling. Like they would yeah. have who yeah. or. Four yeah. in the next would be, yeah, would be virtually nothing. Uh, where did my ship go? What? Rick Panzer is right. What? What? Where did Canada go? What? Okay, I just shipped oh. them all back to, towards the center. Okay. As we get close oh. to the edge of the map park, the, the table, like, betrays us. 
So we just uh, okay. rolling back down the table, and they don't know because it's all water. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll bring them on the good old uh, cartoon uh, roll tape. I think. Uh, uh, I forgot this is it's pretty called. weird. It's, it's basically the loop, the, the, the loop where you put uh, like Shaggy and Scooby, and they're just running. And it keeps looping. Yeah. We, we don't know because you're a kid. We yeah, could yeah. say if we needed to that the burning and sinking ships burnt and sank. Yeah, I don't know where they went. If they ask about them, I deleted them because the, they were locked okay. in place. So you can just tell me. Sure. Yeah. All right, Captain Prince. So uh, you were unable to fire. You just never really got a good shot. Am I sharing my screen? Oh. Okay, well, I'll revoke that reload then. Go up and reload. Uh, you might have a better shot now. So the Gelderland has pulled ahead of the Queen Charlotte. Uh, so if you aim true, it's a bit of a long shot, but you may be able to hit the Queen Charlotte from here now. The Gelderland's yeah. not blocking. Uh, as you look to the rear, um, there's a lot of fighting around the Atlas, and then the Canada has come around uh, and is kind of behind you, but they're, they're going slowly. Uh, and there's a lot of other ship action over there you can't hardly make out. Um, yeah, so you can fire at Queen Charlotte this turn. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll you, do that. What's the yeah. uh, update on the wind? How's the wind looking? So the wind is steady, uh, still coming from the same direction, which is about the direction I'm looking right now. Oh, okay. We're good. Uh, cool. Yeah, I will, uh, I'll fire that volley and then turn another 45 right. Okay. And you'll be at fighting sales now, so you still got a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Oh. The 570 is... Bear with me. For some reason, my computer froze. I just oh. restarted it. Okay. Just two minutes, I'll be back. Do you need me to cover your person real fast? Uh, I think I should be able to get Steam started up quick enough. It shouldn't be an issue. Okay. If you're wondering why I posted images, then just join the chat. Down there now. Okay, so he's going. He was going up to four. So now he's at four. Who's that? Canada. Okay, so Canada. Wait, he just went to three. Yeah, he he went to three. So he's at three first, and yeah. then he goes to four. Yeah. So it's always the delay. So if he ordered three last turn, he's at three now. He'll go to four next yeah. turn. Okay. Yeah. He. It's gonna be four next turn, so now he's at three. Okay. So now I updated that, he's at three for this turn. Uh, he unloaded the right shot to insert grape shot, and the left shot is still round shot. Okay. So now he's unloading the right shot. The right shot can apply. Right. Uh, where's the wind right now? It's coming from oh. this direction. So he's broad reach. Barely. So he still gets the plus one. Yeah. Oh. You could actually probably just as close to running, you could just make it normal speed. <coughs> Ten. Then hits three, so it's ten from here. 
Is he turning at all? Uh, he kind of wants to, you know, run parallel to Gerolin. Mm -hmm. So he wants to swan the, he wants to sandwich it between himself and the uh, Queen Charlotte. So he'll be about right here then. If you want to put him where my ruler is. Uh, uh, he wants to sandwich it, so I think he runs kind of like parallel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Right yeah. I captured of the Atlas is joining the boarding on <laughs> oh no! Right. Where's my so, they're both new. Um, so Man, when we, maybe maybe Jeb and I can go give reports together and co-locate the two of them. Yeah. See how it goes. Let them, let them have a, a parlay. <laughs> they can insult each other. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let them talk smack. Yeah. So his crew is surrendering. Let them let them talk smack and demand surrender and stuff like that. I kind of want to hear till, this. I'll wait till Jeb is back, because that might be fun for Jeb and I to do together. Yeah. I, I kind of want to hear this. I'm sure it'll be in the AR. Oh, the shots can be moving. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm waiting for... Charlotte hasn't moved. Where's Charlotte going? Uh, she's not. She's going to turn forty-five degrees to port. So she's increasing sail, but not this. Not this turn. She just gave that order. So it's going to be ten. Turn forty-five degrees. I'm sorry to starboard, and then ten more. Okay. And then let she, him know. She would have. The rider, she would have fired. Sorry. Oh, sorry. The rider fired at him and uh, got three damage on him. Okay, I'll let him know. Queen Charlotte had port side batteries loaded and orders to fire on Deroid on Gelderland, but I didn't roll it yet. Okay, I will right now. Roll, which I think that would have been. Up. Majestic I wanted to fire it's starboard. Two for, two for second rate, so plus four. Yeah. Yes. With. Okay. I don't know where Gelderland's going yet. Uh, um. And then, what's Majestic doing? I wanted to fire starboard last turn, but um, that would have been the turn. Orders go in effect next turn, so they're not going to be really firing at anything now. Well, we can. If they didn't fire, we can fire for them now. Which uh, ship are they targeting? I wanted to target the the um, the ship that was ran. What is it? The Utrecht while they were by it. Oh, they did. I did roll for that. Oh no, that majestic. Because Canada did that, right? Yeah. Majestic had fire shot loaded. Uh, what's it called? Did they want to do that even with the Atlas crew boarding them at the time? Uh, but the orders were sent, I think, before the boarding was happening, if I'm correct, because it was a turn back. Uh, no, they were boarding last turn. I'll ask them. I'll ask them if, if they want clarification. Yeah, tell them, tell them Atlas is boarding Utrecht, so if they shoot, they're shooting their own men. <laughs> and then ask, tell him he can shoot on Leyden if he wants instead. Classic. Do we go back in time? Oh, you do we do the um the boarding combat for Ultra Jet? They already did. They're uh, the crew uh, surrendering. Oh, but you and the fans are gonna go present the news and let them parlay. I I had a proposition for you if you wanted to. We co-locate the two of them. You and I go in there together. And we can describe the Dutch crew doing not so well. And we just leave them alone to talk for a turn. And, and on turn nine, the, the Dutch crew will just completely surrender. That way, if the Dutch captain wants to like roleplay surrendering, he can. Or they can just talk smack. Is Gelderland firing at Charlotte Park? Um, uh, so for the next turn, turn, yes, they will be firing this turn. I just uh, and fired double shot again. Double shot. With their own range. I don't think they are. Wait, I forgot what I said. Double point blank only. They're not quite point blank. Was, he was very tempted to still go through with it, but the Majestic is not firing so if he's on the Utrex. If he's loaded double shot, tell him he's just not in range. He needs to close closer. Okay. Um, Alright, and then. Sorry, what was the Majestic? What did he say? Majestic, uh, I said the Majestic does not want to go through with firing the fire shot because he was tempted, he was tempted, but he decided better not to set, 
ships that are okay. currently boarding each other and rammed into each other on fire. Okay. So they haven't moved yet. So what are Layden and Majestic and Washington doing? Majestic will continue forward, and he wants to fire. Uh, I think port side next turn, or any of this turn. Layden. Next turn will be firing. So the lanes also just moving forward and reloading, so they're just gonna go. So he's ten. Their did, speed two, so he's going. Did you roll for the good lands, by the way, or not? No, no. Aren't they in? Um, they're sailing. Uh, well, no, those holds in the slower. Because if he's got double shot loaded, he's not close enough to fire. It just the, falls short if he fired it. So Charlotte didn't fire either this turn. He fired back here. Okay. okay. Wait, is is the lane sailing uh, close to fire? Right. No. They, oh yeah, so that'll slow well, down, right? What's, um, yeah. double I shot, you got to be in within 10, have you? Well, in that case, we'll move him, because he wants to stay within double shot range, so okay. I'll make an adjustment for that. Yeah, okay, and then he, uh, uh, in that case, we will roll for Because he wants to try and rake, wanted to try and get cross him and get into rake him, but he's not going to be able to do that. Okay, so, so I rolled that anyway, I rolled a 17, that's what I rolled. Oh, okay, 17, so minus 2 is 15. Oops. 15 is 2 damage, and then 2 extra damage if hit, so 4 damage. 4 damage? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Done. And they also took hits from Deroiter, shooting from afar. You took how many, sorry? They oh, they, they took hits from Deroiter? Yeah, so they're at 8, or no, they were at, they went from 1 to 4, and then 4 to 8 from the point blank shot. Having a terrible day. Yeah, having oh. a terrible day. So the Queen Charlotte took hits from Deroiter as well, sorry? Yep, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And how much did they take? They took three from De Reuter and four from Gavin. Oh, okay. So, I'm, so they ought to 11 then, because I hadn't actually put on no, there. No, I already did. Oh, no, no. I, oh you did I, already. I, oh, gotcha, I, gotcha, I, gotcha. I, I yeah, there was three. I got it. Sorry. Yeah, right. okay. I understand. Too many, too many chefs, and it's my fault. I apologize. The Panzer. Too many chefs. You're fired. <laughs> too many chefs. I, I enjoy causing pain to others, and tracking damage <laughs> sparks right. joy in my evil little heart. You rehired. You saddest. Alright, let's go turn 8. One thing to okay. add though, that he wanted to fire and reload the same, as the same order, is that, or two orders allowed? Um, yeah. Fire so he fire and reload, yes. The turn, he just called, he's reloading next turn. The reloading yeah. okay. happens next turn, and then he'll fire. So basically, you can fire every two turns. Yeah. As long as they remember. Do you wanna, do you wanna go to Utrecht first? I'll drag Atlas in there, and the four of us can chat. Yeah, I wanna hear this. Yeah. All right, hang on. I gotta find uh, Theophilius Jones. Who is the player Voice. commanding the track? Uh, it's Captain um, Captain West or Conrad. We checked his voice twice. And... Conrad. Okay, so it's voice three on the Dutch side. Yep. We're all going. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! It, it's not the lobby. Everybody's just bored. Wants to. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, <laughs> should we share my screen? So, as your two ships are tangled together, the British crew from HMS Atlas on the three-decker, coming down from their taller ship, have engaged the crew of the Utrecht in a ferocious battle, running the length of their deck. Uh, this turn, another wave of English sailors comes over the bowsprits of Utrecht, led by their captain, who is nearly shot, nearly killed, but not. And the uh, British sailors have pushed the crew of the Utrecht almost all the way back to the helm and the, the shot away steering on Utrecht. Most of your sailors are stuck below decks as British Marines come forward and are pushing them down. Uh, it's clear that the crew of the Utrecht are on the verge of surrendering though they have not quite yet struck their colors oh. and they're looking they are looking to their their commander uh, to to save them it's clear that if the fighting continues that there's going to be a massacre as these crazed royal marines bloodthirsty savages are ruining your pretty dutch deck so what we thought would make the most sense is you can keep fighting if you want to uh, but as the two of you are literally co-located on the same vessel thought we would give Captain Jones and Captain Westhuizen a turn to commiserate about their pain, decide what they want to do, and or shoot each other. So <laughs> we're going to leave you two alone for a turn, and you can decide whatever you'd like. You can tell us next turn what resolution that comes to. Gotcha. Okay. Right. 
I don't actually know what Utrecht's orders were, so would you like to add anything, Umpire Jeb? Uh, yes, um, Utrecht, he was, um, again, he tried to repair his steering, and he was trying to, you know, fight back on the, these, as you said, bloodthirsty, um, British Marines that are coming on his ship, very, very, very evil savages. That's the um, hand of the Marine Corps. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, they, they were unable to, um, to repel them. It's not a fair fight. It's a second rate versus a third. It's taller and has more crew. Alright, Captain Prince. Let's see. Hello. So, your ship has uh, slowed down somewhat fighting combat cells. Uh, and turn right, trying to get the Queen Charlotte in your sights. You shoot off a volley, and uh, the, the gunners aim true, and you see the volley blast into the side of the Queen Charlotte, doing a lot of damage. Um, All right. You can see Gelderland as well, firing much, much closer, point blank, also doing a lot of damage. Uh, it's getting shot up. Um, the Canada is racing from the rear, I think, trying to catch up to the fight with you two. Um, I think it's a bit behind, but trying to put itself between you and the Gelderman. Uh, as you look to the rear behind you, and the battle that, um, is going on behind you, the, uh, let's see, the Majestic is battling the Washington and the, I forget the other one over there, um, and then the Atlas it's still just kind of drifting in the wind, um, stuck, still stuck in the rigging with uh, Utrecht. And uh, that's about it. Alright, uh, just give me another 45 right and I put my reload move in, in my channel. Okay, got it. Thank you. I think this might spell doom for the Majestic this turn. Yeah. As far left as you can turn. The Laden and the Washington are just going to lay into it again. Yeah, well, it's at how many? 8 out of 10 damage. Yeah, they get. Well, they're pretty close, so. No, the Laden does have the, du the, the, gun, the gun deck damage, so they do a minus 2 to the roll. So the Laden might miss. Well, that'll be interesting. So we'll have. So the Atlas will take out the Utrecht. They'll take mm -hmm. out the Majestic. So it's basically one from one. Yeah. And, and everything else is just sailing away, right? Well, the... Oh, there's this going on over here. Yeah, so I see that. it's kind of close. The Charlotte or the Gelderman, depending on who takes out the other first, is kind of going to name the winner. It's going to be dicey yeah. because Charlotte can fire this turn at very close and is the only first rate on the board. But if I flub the roll, Gelderland has double shot the next turn, and it's yeah. just going to be like flipping coins. So Gelderland's got, Charlotte's got one chance to sink the Gelderland in, in this. Sure, but yeah. I think it's going to be like alternating 50-50s. First one to, to yeah. get it probably wins. Although this range, it's not 50-50, it's like... Right, 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 right. It's definitely not. And okay, uh, Queen Charlotte is a first rate. Is it a first rate? Oh, a second. It's 100 guns. Yep. 100 guns is the first. Yeah, we have fun times here. Right, third, first rate. I tried to, you know, add them on both sides. They're just up front, murdering each other. And it was a 5v4, so I, st I think you chose really, really well who got what. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I wanted it um, to kind of balance it out an extra trip. No, I, I think you did a great job balancing. That that was not trying to suggest that it was imbalanced. No, just that the Queen Charlotte versus the Gelderland is horrific. <laughs> Who did that? Alright, uh, are we all here? We're all here. So what yeah, here. shooting can be done? It's Charlotte shooting, so go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's uh, plus four for point blank. So it is... 
And then plus four for being a first rate. Yeah, so plus eight. Plus eight. Here we go. So seven, 15. 15. I think that's 15. two. I think it's alive on one. Yep, so two damage. <laughs> well, well, we might see if Canada does the thing. Barely alive. And then, uh, okay. Well, Canada can't shoot anything. And then Majestic and these three, they can all shoot each other, right? Alright, the Laden and the Washington can both shoot the Majestic. I don't know about the Majestic, though. Okay. The Majestic is just engaging. Um, I mean, you didn't really specify which of the two ships, but just one of the two ships Probably to his port. So, so they're at. They're not quite point blank range. So. I don't know, yeah. That's close. I'm gonna say they're not. So plus two. Uh, Laden also has a minus two if you're doing the Laden. Oh. Okay, so minus two, so 19 went to 17, which is three damage but not critical. Oh, that's enough to sink it. And then Washington, oh, and then there's late laden shooting back. Yeah. Oops. So you mean the Majestic? Yeah, Majestic. majestic yeah, the Majestic is shooting. Back, yeah. This is me sinking it. And how he's to ask a question, he's ordering every turn that he wants to fire and reload. That's fine, you can do that because just you can only fire every other turn though. So you okay, fire I need to specify reload. That. Yeah, yeah I'll so be you right got, back. basically you can fire every other turn. Alright, so Majestic fired uh, 16 plus two, so 18 is a critical. Dropping anchor, it's gonna difference. You can decrease or increase two levels of sail, can't you? Yeah, two at a time. Okay. All right. So Leyden took a lot of damage. Their their main mass is a uh, shot and is damaged, um, but the the majestic is now sinking. So these guys. Because they haven't actually moved yet. So, Queen Charlotte is just thing. trying to stay uh, with Elderland. Well, he's going to be able to do. He, what speed are they going at? Because he's just, he's dropping. He wants to drop anchor and try and turn inside it, which he can't do. Um, oh. But he's, so he's dropping it the down two. So, what's the, if you're in? Um, I don't know. If, we, if he's going in. The wind. Queen Charlotte at three. So he's going to be going. He's going to drop down to two. And his direction will be what's he going to be in? Beam you reach? Know, you know what? Or? I'm going to stop being gaming. He said he was going to continue on his course. So that's, okay. That, that's well, this that. guy's. He's kind of doing that effectively. Because he wants to keep it. Um, keep his side to. Um, Hello. Sorry to disturb. To them, okay. but he's not going very far. He's dropping his sail. He wants to kind of slow himself up in the wind. So I guess my question is, did he drop his sails this turn or last turn? Uh, this. T oh, no, that's a good question, actually. So if he dropped it this turn, it wouldn't impact the, these movement orders. It's on. It no, this is the movement orders for this turn. So yes, he would have dropped his sails because uh, he's. St I'm. St you doing the combat first, aren't you? So right. he would have. Yeah, like, like, you know what? You're you're good. I'm gonna just trust you to do. Um, trust the process. Trust, trust. I'm just gonna trust Art. Let's do that. And let's say he can't like fire because he's because he thinks it's unfair. He could, this guy's gonna come. It's gonna be unfair for him to be. He's trying to. I think he's trying to slightly game um, the system in a sense. If you know what I mean, to try and get himself into an unrealistically firing angle. Yeah. yeah that's fine. He's about to fight on the. Canada and get sunk. I apologize for <laughs> questioning you. Are. Good. No, 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 it's right. It's right. It's because it's, it's because the, the way the turns are. You're right. Just I'm just trying to figure out that I'm. I, I don't want to be ahead of you, so that's fine. I was just afraid of explaining to my guy like how that jack he did. This is good, but how the previous jackknife worked. Yeah. yeah. All right, I think we're good. Turn. Okay. 
Uh, oh, uh, did the uh, can did Canada fire on Getaway? No, not yet. The majestic oh, okay. any hits or hit anything? Oh, the, the majestic hit Laden pretty bad. Uh, Laden's pretty damaged, but the majestic is now sinking. They're they're dead. Yeah, and majestic is wound. Jeb, um, I'm going to attract Atlas Land. Let's see if he's still alive in there. Yeah. Okay, down. Oh, we gotta hear how the parlay went. Yeah. Yep. Let's let's go see how. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, have you come to uh, to terms, or are you going to murder each other? It is with great regret that uh, Conrad uh, Vestoisen has agreed to surrender. However, he has brought out the finest rum from the ship's coffers and is getting drunk. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> he doesn't got a battle to fight anymore. Yeah. yeah. I there I you would go. just like to say plus 10 Kriegspiels because every time players don't do this, they murder each other. There's no like dignity or surrender or reason. It's just digital murder. So well, plus well, 10 well, internet. Well, well done, sir. Your name people is have such a hard time accepting you have to retreat sometimes. With great pleasure, I accept uh, the officer's surrender. He's a great gentleman. I will leave uh, Lieutenant with you and move on. Have a nice day, sir. All right. So you're 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 cutting away the rigging. You're not going to be mobile this turn, but we'll assume that your men are isn't. All right, Captain Prince. Yeah. It's interesting how this battle's turned out. All right. Let me. So you continue to turn to the right. Um, you're still at a pretty favorable angle to the wind, but if you, I think if you might be able to turn 45 degrees more, and then you're going to be close all and in trouble. Um, gotcha. So you can see the Queen Charlotte has fired on um, the Gelderland. The Gelderland is listing. Um, looks like it's taking on some water and in big trouble. Uh, Queen Charlotte's pulled ahead, kind of parallel to you, but you're a little bit more, you're closing on it. The Gelderland's turned left, and then the the Canada is quickly pulling up from the rear, and they might have a shot on the Gelderland here shortly. Uh, your crew is quickly trying to reload the guns, and so you will be able to fire this next turn. Uh, right now you got a pretty good shot on the Canada at medium range. Uh, to the rear, um, it looks like the Majestic is sinking, uh, which is one of the enemy ships, so that's good. Cause for celebration. Okay. Um, can't really tell much else what's happening, so what are your orders? Uh, let's see. I'm sticking around the 45 right. Uh, where, where would 45 right put me? Like, just show me the angle. So you'd be like going that way. Well, Alright. Yeah, let's point. do that. Okay. And then are you firing on Canada if you can? Uh. Well, I'm not reloading yet, am I? Well, let's see. You gave. Did you fire last turn or the turn before? Uh, I fired. Turn. No, oh, yeah, I, sh I should be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah I should be ready. Good. Fire. Okay. So you fired. Um. I'm gonna hold off. Okay. Got it. So you put a captain in umpire jail, huh? All right. You want to keep hanging out with uh, Captain Jones? Yeah. Um. I, I was told I could just, since I'm kind of out of the game, I could kind of spectate here. Yeah, that's Is that, fine. If that's okay. Yep. Yeah. I had to explain to uh, so Captain James Audrey is just dead in the water and can't do anything. He asked if he could repair, even if he's capsizing. I mean, his true his crew's trying to, but yeah, he's dead. The game's almost okay. over, so it's it's all right. We're not. We just gotta sit there for a minute. Um, all right. So the writer's not shooting. 
Springs. And my case. And then Atlas is facing away from the Utrecht. I assume Gelderland's shooting at Canada, right? He is. I'm just checking what shot he had loaded on. Give me a sec. Uh, in my case, Canada wants to fire at Gelderland with grip shot. Is he grip shot? Right, he's firing with normal round shot. That's what normal. he had loaded. Okay, so he's going to fire normal and he's at 150, so plus two. Uh, that's a miss. And then grape shot is point blank only. Where where are the two going? Certainly has that range. Uh, um, well, yeah, he's not. He's not oh, who? Sorry, I'll shut up. I don't. Where's Canada going? Cool. Okay, he's going here, and he wants to be uh, as point blank as he can get with Gelderland. Okay, now where's Gelderland going? So Gelderland is maining. Uh, is uh, piling on the sail and is sailing for port. So he's going to go um, probably straight ahead. Um, as fast as he possibly can. What cell is he at? Two? So he's at uh, two at the moment, so he's going to pile on, so we go back up to four again. Okay. But that's the following turn, right? Yeah. So he'd, he'd move two this turn, and then he'd go four. He'd move two this turn for definite, yeah. And Canada's going speed four. So... Minus one because of the mass bar, mass bar. Oh, Okay, so he. Yeah, we'll just have him pass again. Quite long time. His. Grape shot, so it does crew damage. Is Canada firing grape shot? Yes. So, oh, he needs to do one damage with round shot. <laughs> I know, he did the wrong one. Alright, so his crew is. Oh, it was rattled already. It's rattled, well, he's down. Isn't it the rule that once you've got one or two damage left, your crew's automatically rattled anyway? Because that's what I did. I think you're right. Otherwise, is it steady? I thought you wrote when in the rules that if they're down to. <laughs> no, you're right. When the ship's hull reaches um, one or two I... damage, they're rattled. So the grape shot is the final nail in the coffin. They are. So they unique. strike then. They're striking should we say? Colors. Yep. Okay. So they're done. Earl, oh. Queen Charlotte, on De Reuter. That's a fight, De Reuter. So what does that mean for Gilder then? So they they're surrendering. So they surrendered. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gilder and Surrender, so okay. Yeah. That's, that's funny. The great shot was enough to, that was the final. And then they're shooting on at Deroyder, 13. Yeah, I rolled I roll a 13. It's a plus 4 for the rate. So that's uh, 17. So that's 3. So Deroyder, and they haven't taken any think, damage yet. So two. No, because he upped his sails to infinity and yeah. shell off <laughs> the great blue beyond. Yeah. Alright, so the question is... Oh, Charlotte could die still from the Yeah. That's the last I, I one. Think it, I think it's worth playing out because... Yeah, one more turn for the sure. to maybe take out Charlotte, and then we'll, we'll call it there. Yeah. The Reuter would have to silly crit to kill it in one turn. Um, but he's got four left. Alright, so oh, good. Really? Surrenders. So I'm gonna go ahead and say you put hands up, they pull their weapons, and they surrender. Yeah, just strike his colors, so... Right, and this guy's turning around. And I shall Trump let him. Colors. And Atlas is pulling away. Yep. Alright, one more turn. We'll see if Charlotte dies or not. Turn 10 or 11? I can't count anymore. Turn. I gotta look at my thing and remind myself. Turn 10. It's good thing we had so many umpires. This would have been. Yeah, I think we had Yeah, another finish at midnight. It's cool. Feels good, man. Right. Howdy. What on earth? I don't know what just happened. Okay. 
Sure, Mr. So, you turn right, you're pretty much close hauled now, so you've lost the bite of the wind in your sails, you're fluttering a little bit, you're going a little bit slower. Uh, as you look behind you, the Canada quickly pulls up on the Gelderman. Uh, the Gelderman's trying to get away from the Charlotte. Um, the, Cal the Canada chases them, fires a round of grape shot across the deck, and that seems to be the final nail in the coffin for the Gelderman. You can see them striking their colors as you watch and surrendering their ship. Um, the Charlotte is in front of you. It's a little bit troubling. It looks like they're lining up for... No, sorry, they just fired at you. Uh, they did do three damage, so that's the first bit of damage you've had this battle. Um, but, so your ship's okay, it's just some shots. Um, but they are crossing your T at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. You can see the Atlas has broken away from the Utrecht and is sailing towards you now. And way off in the distance, Leyden and Washington are pulling away from the sinking Majestic. Alright. So you can, um, if you turn hard left, because you're close hauled, you can turn 66 degrees and you may get an angle on the Queen Charlotte, I think that's about. Um, well, I don't yes, to that's, that's about all I can do, so I'm going to do that. Hard left. Hard left, alright. Good thing you saved your shot, this is your chance. You know, I will tell, so this is the last turn of the game. Oh, okay. uh, the Queen Charlotte is at... 8 out of 12 damage, so you're going to have to get extremely lucky and you may sink her, uh, and if you don't then it's game over. So, we'll see what happens. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. It was him. All right. I need my pants here. So has Charlotte moved already? No, it's gonna move. Uh, three. So how can you? I feel like you moved it right after we went out. So I, I hadn't. It didn't move. Like, oh, you hadn't I, moved it yet. Right, right. So I rolled combat first, and then we okay. talked and talked and talked. So where is it going? Uh, it is turning forty-five degrees to the left, and it's moving at speed. I'm gonna go 10. Like that. I don't know if they can turn that far. It's not loaded <laughs> on the port side. So it's close hauled. So you can turn 66 degrees. I need my. Let me get official here. So, 66. You want Reuter or Charlotte? De Reuter. So we're here, and they can go about that far. I don't think they, I don't know. Do we, I told them I'd give them a roll. I'm going to roll for it, even though I don't think they quite have the shot. But they got to get four damage anyway, or it's over. I don't think he can unless he crits, right? Yeah, it's going to crit with it. It's uh, over. They critted. Now what's the range? Yeah, let, let, let's do this so we don't look like we're... Because <laughs> I, I, I probably, you know... Yeah, alright, three damage with a crit. Let's see what the crit does. 18. Uh -oh. Mast falls. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, that's, that's Ooh, wow. So... All these masts fall. 11 damage, and then mast fell down. So they're not moving anymore. Let's let them... So they're... So they're reloading now, so they're going to have a turn to fire back, right? Queen uh, Charlotte. Well, right, Queen Charlotte yeah. can't fire this turn, but they will fire next turn. Let's roll that for now. So it's plus four. Plus eight. Plus eight, what? It's not point right. eight. Is the range is short. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's plus two. It was, it, was, it was point blank last time, so it was a plus six. I can't do math. Uh, I do have a concern about, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter, but Canada was like, gonna be like, 
just tell that Gallon to surrender, and then he was gonna go after Admiral Luther. Oh, well, also yeah, the, um, the, the, the laden's gonna... Atlas. All right, so let's talk aftermath. So Charlotte's mast has fallen. They're dead in the water, mostly, uh, and they're super damaged. So did I, did the Royces take any damage this turn? They, well, they took it. The, yeah. The, oh, it yeah, did. That's you. Oh, it's okay. So yeah. the, the water Elderman is... surrendered. The Utrecht surrendered. The Majestic sunk. So the Royal I mean, fleet you can, lost one. You can make a case for the Charlotte surrendering as well, actually, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the Charlotte might surrender once it's... So it, that's, it depends on the Canada, if they could... The Canada's also damaged, but they could that's true. probably go help. If, if we're way. talking resolution, I think Queen Charlotte would strike. Yeah, However, I agree. then I think it becomes a duel between Canada and De Reuter, and whoever wins gets their buddy. There's Gelderland spot, and Charlotte. Yeah, that's spot on. Yeah. I agree with the pans on that one. Both, they're both half damaged, though, so it's pretty even, actually. Is yeah, right? Yeah. Both Six damage third rates. Yeah. If so, it matters, I have the Majestic on lifeboats heading towards the Atlas and Utrecht to maybe join the crew or join those ships. So it's pretty even. So McPanzer, for your game, which makes what do you want to happen? So I I would rather get it to a conclusion, but I think we can get to a conclusion simply by figuring out what happens with Canada and De Reuter. So right. I would propose we that. ask those two captains. Uh, would you fight it out, or would you go? And we can tell them that Queen Charlotte's mast just fallen, and she struck, and Gellerland has struck, and it's a duel between De Reuter and Canada. Would you fight the duel, or would you leave? Yeah. Okay, or we, or we can just say they fight. But... No, I think we say with the fight with Panzer, it's easy because I think that's what would happen. You're right. Whoever wins that duel, it wins the day, doesn't it? All right, here we go. right, because they, they would, they'd rescue their buddy, and yes, that, yeah. All right. So we're rolling. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? what? Oh, okay, that's fine. I was, I was going to say let them watch, because that's neat, but you're, this way is better. This is fine. Uh oh. They can watch the video. Alright, so uh -oh. we both did three, <laughs> three damage. Oh, no. It's They're equal, both. equal. It's terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> we stink each other. And nine. So this is the roll. That would this be funny. It. Here we go. Oh! So oh, Canada. Canada, so Canada. Right, I'm I'm screenshotting this for the AAR of my play by post because this this right here just cut off like half the Dutch coast. That one die roll. <laughs> right. Canada save the day. Hey, hey, save the day again. We did it using war, not using war crimes this time. It's 1799. <laughs> Leiden British still rule the waves. Rule Britannia. Leyden and Washington uh, get out. Yeah. They, they're going to try to take a shot at Atlas. They were in range. So I don't know if we're going to resolve that. Who, what? Who should have Atlas? The Leyden and the Washington. Uh, no. They were kind of... I moved them. I'm a cheater. Yeah, yeah they were just they, and they mess it the up a lot. was kind of angled like this. You know? It's alright. Okay. Let's bring anyone to the lobby. Okay. Can we say that the Majestic recruits the Utrecht just for James's peace of mind? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, absolutely. Again, oh, yeah. oh, we're not gonna do that. Extreme. Howdy. Yo. All right. Welcome, everyone. So Hello. We had so many empires we were able to do this battle in two hours, which is awesome. Um, Alright, before... There was no CIC, so I'm not going to do my normal who's winning. I'm just going to share. Let me share my screen. This uh, was, was a fun game. I'm really... We had a lot of... Sorry, news. you are turning all the way down for some reason. I'm here. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Alright, everyone be quiet. Let me oh, talk. Well, everyone will have a... Yeah, I need to explain myself so some of you guys don't know. Uh, so I'm going to go over what happened, and then uh, all the umpires will share their piece, and then all the players will have a chance to share their experience, and then at the end, anyone can talk. Um, so first of all, uh, thanks everyone for playing. These were new rules um, and a new system, and I think it worked out really, really well. I'm really happy with them. Um, we also had new player, new umpires and new players, and everyone did really well, so good job. So, um, 
terms of the game start, um, I purposefully started the game mid-battle because I wanted it to be a little bit chaotic to start with, um, rather than just firing from a distance and slowly closing. Um, so you had some obstacles to begin with, um, both, both sides had to dodge, which they did well. Um, the British had four ships, but they had a first rate and a second rate. So the Atlas was a second rate 98 gun ship and a Queen Charlotte 100 gun ship. The Batavians had five ships, but all third rates. Um, so it was pretty well balanced and, and it was a very close battle. Um, some early, I gotta remind myself, some early shenanigans. So I had De Ruyter the whole time. Uh, he was at the front and kind of wove through the uh, the ships that were um, floating, and then he almost got ran into by Queen Charlotte when she cut right, but he pulled ahead and then added sail, and he ended up pulling away from the battle, <clears throat> and then here in the end, he, he fought more, I'll get down to that in a second. Um, but when Queen Charlotte and Atlas cut right, Utrecht um, poured on the sail, uh, they went to, to four sail, and uh, didn't leave themselves room to maneuver, and so they ran into Atlas, and were basically fighting um, each other the whole time. Uh, Atlas ended up boarding Utrecht, and the two captains had a parlay, which we'll, I'll let them share how that went. Um, and then uh, ultimately Utrecht surrendered. And then um, the Majestic over here got caught fighting both the Washington and the Leyden, and she almost sunk the Leyden, but unfortunately got teamed two to one and was sunk herself. But her crew are in uh, boats now sailing to man the Utrecht. They're going to take over the Utrecht and sell it home as a prize of war. The Atlas uh, cut the Utrecht from her rigging, and so they're sailing to the battle. Um, Leyden and Washington are turning around to join the fight. But here at the end, um, the poor Gelderland was fighting Queen Charlotte mostly by themselves. Uh, De Reuter was firing from afar, but Gelderland, it was actually pretty close because um, Queen Charlotte was already pretty heavily damaged, um, but it proved to be too much. And then the Gelderland turned off to get away, but the Canada caught up to her and fired grape shot across the deck, and that was the final nail in the coffin. The crew surrendered and struck their colors. Uh, and then the Canada pulled ahead to fight De Reuter. Um, De Reuter and Charlotte b battled each other. Um, De Reuter managed to not sink, almost sink the Charlotte, but they hit Charlotte's mast, and with that the crew decided that it had enough and it surrendered, and so the final outcome of the battle was decided in the battle between De Reuter and Canada. Both were, uh, had sustained similar da damage, both were similar ships, it was a very close thing, but in the end Canada came out ahead as it uh, sunk De Reuter. Um, and uh, won won the battle for the the Royal Navy. So very well done by all involved. Um, very fun, and thanks a lot to the umpires who helped with this one. So I'm gonna turn. We're just gonna go down the list with the umpires, and then we'll do the players. Yeah. So I think Arp is next. Um, I actually don't have anything to add because you explained everything that happened in my part of the battlefield. Um, my bad. So, um, well done by the players, and also well done to, um, is it Amalgamate, who was, unfortunately, his mic wasn't working, and couldn't, it, it made it very difficult, but it worked out alright. Unfortunately, he was struck, though. Yeah. Alright, Umpire Jed? Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a very good game. I don't much to add, you know, James did a pretty good job summarizing. I was in, I was umpiring the laden. <coughs> And um, halfway through, I also grabbed the uh, the ultra team umpire of that ship as well. Um, yeah, it was a really good game. I enjoyed umpiring it. And, uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's a great time. Thank you. I, I had a blast. Um, thank you for letting me uh, hijack your Thursday night game and then running this. I really love naval combat. We don't get to do enough, and I'm pretty impressed with this new rule set. Only thing I have to add, everything you said is true, but just to add clarification for you're playing Charlotte. Uh, your mass, Charlotte's mass went down in the last turn, and that's when the umpire team went, okay, this probably doesn't need to be progressed through many more turns. And we decided that since 
between Charlotte had struck and Gelderland had struck, it really came down to a duel between De Reuter and Canada. So we just diced out two turns of combat for De Reuter and Canada, and it, it actually came down to just literally the last die roll. Both ships are at 9 of 10 damage as third rates, and uh, on the very last turn, De Reuter rolled a 6, and Canada rolled a 17, and that was that. Um, so I, I had an absolute blast. Thank you, James, for running it, and I'm... Yep, that's it. Oh, thank you. Negligible capability? One thing I would say that stood out to me umpiring that was when the Atlas and Charlotte tried to turn right ahead of the of the French. What was the comment made? They were trying to drift with their ships, essentially. Oh, Tokyo drift. Yeah, so that was a that was a bit of an interesting move. That's what stood out to me. I would say of this whole experience was that one one maneuver. But cutting off the, the Batavian fleet in the middle. That was interesting. Uh, they did have the wind advantage, so that was on their side. Alright, uh, Park Mobile. Yeah, I was in charge of uh, Empire in Canada, and uh, basically I was watching it all in battle. Yes, what struck out to me is that the pivotal point, literally, uh, of the game was uh, when, the Tok when the Tokyo drip happened, and it uh, pretty much made all the lines kind of break, because Majestic also decided to turn, and Canada was following the Majestic, so it kind of like made it weird that two lines broke instead of having one line doing like uh, a turn and uh, that was kind of fun to see uh, I had uh, a great player to uh, to umpire for and it was uh, nice to umpire for a new player for the first time for him uh, and I hope that I give him some love for the quick screen experience uh, I love boats and boats are my life and I really like that everybody got into it. Uh, when we got to the nail biter at the end, I couldn't help myself to kind of root for the player that I was umpiring. I wasn't I wasn't really back nice or anything, but I was kind of rooting for him because I really wanted him to get this in. Because me on my first game, I, I died a bit miserably, and uh, he lived to glorious. Perfect. That's it. Thank you. All right, now going to the players, uh, Captain Bandit. So tell us about you know what your ship was, what you, uh, you know, what was your thinking throughout the game, your strategy, uh, what things surprised you, uh, you know, what learnings you took away, that kind of stuff. Well, I was uh, on the laden. Um, at first, I was just following the ship in front of me, but then as he broke off, um, I decided I would uh, cut sails. To kind of drag back behind and then get him from behind um so we ended up i don't even remember i think it was the atlas or it might have been the majestic we raked um i mean that was the general plan just get behind them pretty much and hit them from the back so they couldn't hit back at us um i had a lot of fun first Krieg spiel game pretty much with this so yeah i had a lot of fun with it it was interesting and uh yeah, no, it was definitely uh, mentally stimulating, so it was fun. Good. All right, Captain Aubrey? Oh, uh, one second. Uh, you might want to move on to so. Smith. Yeah, we can come back to you. Captain Prince. Okay, I should... Oh, never mind, I should be yeah. good. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind, you go ahead. All right. Sorry, uh, I didn't work. I was, I was the, the Admiral de Reuter. Uh, I ended up, by circumstance, being the lead ship, which uh, didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was kind of hoping I'd just be able to follow someone and <laughs> shoot what they shot. <laughs> Which uh, which didn't end up happening, um, so I ended up kind of broken off from everyone else, uh, and the only thing I could really see was uh, the Charlotte. So she ended up being my white whale. Made it my mission to to sink her. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I, I'm I'm really fond of the first person thing, because at one point, like like I said, the only thing I could see was the Charlotte, because I was blocked by like an enemy ship behind me and a, a cloud of smoke next to it. I think that's really badass. That was cool. Uh, yeah. Alright, back to Aubrey. Alright. Uh, the Majestic, we, uh, we went ahead and we, we went off course a little bit. We left the line to go engage the French up close. Didn't work exactly how I planned. Um, got some good shots off here and there at some French ships. We scared a bunch of frogs. That's good, you know. Did our, did our duty to the Royal Navy. Um... I should have loaded that. I loaded, I guess the highlight. I loaded heated shot 
and I almost shot into the Utrecht as it was ramming or as it was rammed into uh, whatever British ship it was rammed into. Um, and then I just thought it would be way too trolly for me to shoot heated shot into a ship that's like fighting, you know, like my, my, my allies were boarding and fighting on. So I didn't do it, but I should have done it because it would have been hilarious. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it was pretty fun. I had a really enjoyable time. Uh, a 2v1. I don't know who it was in here. Um, Yo. Was that me. was cool. I got insta killed. <laughs> uh, this is my first Creek spill. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna buy the Patreon thing and uh, come to all the games I can. Awesome. Get better. Alright, uh, Captain Pike. You know, I had a lot of fun. Obviously, we won. I meant to have the Atlas go, uh, keep straight when I went right between the uh, Utrecht and the whatever it was. What ship were you? Uh, uh, Queen Charlotte. Oh, okay. But I uh, I messed up communicating that, but it worked out in the end. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy. I think I messed some stuff up. So, uh, that's the did, uh, how did the flag signaling go? Was everyone able to communicate well enough with that? Yeah, I really enjoyed reading the 14 different codes that Cater here would send out every three minutes um, <laughs> as I was trying to situate my battle. Cater, it's all his fault. And to communicate. Right. And they weren't even coherent, it was just like random, <laughs> random shit. Alright, Captain Brandt? Yeah, I was um, at Canada, and that's a third way of the line, so my whole plan was just to support the lead ship there. I was just going to do what I was told and follow the line, but then the line completely <laughs> broke apart. <laughs> what did you follow me? Because uh, I figured to fig follow the biggest ship. That was the one in charge. At least I assumed. And um, I was going to help you, actually. I saw you got rammed. I tried to fight her a volley into the ship, but my men missed. No, that was me. Oh, well, I saw, I, I thought about helping that ship, but then I saw the enemy coming behind me, and I said, fuck that shit. We're just going to follow the Charlotte, which I did. And we uh, just kept following, basically, and then we got that one ship, and then we we're in the final battle. But yeah, no, I like the, um, I'm new to Kriegspiel, and the infantry kind of looked, I like this naval stuff. I feel like I have a lot more um, choice on what I'd happens. Right. Captain Jones. Yes, I was the captain of Atlas. I had a real blast to, uh, following Charlotte for the first few turns. Uh, while crossing the enemy T, I was rammed into by the Utrecht. And then a boarding action ensued after I definitely raked uh, Utrecht. Well, um, it went swimmingly. We managed something that was unsinkable. We managed to get co-located in a game that had no co-locations. And he was a very good sport and uh, we became friends on his deck. I'm looking forward to the rum on in, in England Shore. For the flag signals, they worked out pretty well. Uh, I was missing something like boarding or captured. That would have been nice. Hmm. Alright, thank you. Uh, Captain... I can't see the whole man. West House. West Tweezen. Yeah. Um, so this was my first Kriegspiel game ever. Um, I really like the naval rule set that you together I uh, reading through it a bit is pretty cool and it was a uh, I'd say honestly a pretty good first game I felt like it was pretty clear what I could do I mean I definitely made mistakes <laughs> which I'll go into in a second um but I, I mean I had a blast um I think the thing uh, I messed up was for the first I think two or three turns I had not yet wrapped my brain around the uh, I give the orders but they don't happen till the next turn and that is what led to me uh, being at four speed and not being able to slow down, leading to my uh, ramming into the Atlas. 
so but that ended up being pretty fun uh i we agreed to surrender and my captain just got uh drunk out of his mind <laughs> with the rum stores on the utrecht and he's has a bottle labeled for uh captain jones when we get back to england so nice yeah it's fun all right i think j-rock showed up slept in you missed it you could have had your glory j-rock that's all right um ah no all right uh so you're welcome to hang out and keep talking i'm gonna stop the recording thanks everyone who watched and uh we'll see